Time now for your forewarn weather with Cedric Haynes. All right, Cedric, let's talk about that weather. We talked about the Yellow Lake fire and the conditions, obviously not great for people fighting that fire out there. As you see the flag whipping behind you, you talked about uh, moisture would be a, a great thing to help them out, but uh, doesn't seem like that's coming anytime soon. Pal. Yeah, probably not nothing that's going to really help them out, at least in the next few days. Now, as we get further along in the forecast, there is a possibility that we start to see a more significant pattern change. So we're going to keep our fingers crossed for that. But as you mentioned outside right now, this is looking at our colonial flag. You can see whipping in the wind because we do have a decent southerly breeze out there right now. Temperatures at 86 degrees, wind sustained at 13 miles per hour, but we've seen some gusts higher than that at times. But look at that humidity, 10%, extremely dry air out there in place. So you're not going to see rainfall with humidity levels at 10%. Let me show you the temperatures in your neighborhood. It's 78 in Wendover, 82 in Delta. Good afternoon in Emory. You're sitting at 78 degrees. We've got 86 in Hanksville, 79 in Cedar City, St. George at 91 degrees, which honestly, I'm sure many of you are saying it's not horrible, but it's still pretty warm. All right, here's the weather pattern today. We've got this dome of high pressure still situated down to our south and east, but we've got this weak front that's making its way through. Again, it's not doing a ton for us in terms of bringing us any rain chances, but it is bringing us a few extra clouds and also helping to pull up that southerly flow so it's making it breezy and still bringing us these above average temperatures. The record heat is being stalled out across the upper Midwest. Now, as we go into your Friday, that frontal boundary is going to stall to our south and east, but it's really not going to do much for us because high pressure is still in place. So we still get that southwesterly flow and we still see these temperatures in some spots, potentially 10 to 20 degrees above average across the Intermountain West. I think here in the Beehive State, we're looking at another day with temperatures about 10 to 15 degrees above average. Now, let's see if we can find some changes changes for you as we look at the upper level future cast. Again, this heat dome is going to stay into place for our Friday, so no changes through the end of the week. But by the weekend, we start to see a little weak system starting to move into the West Coast. It may bring us a little bit of moisture. When I say moisture, I mean the potential of some scattered clouds. That's pretty much going to be about it. Maybe a spotty shower too late Sunday into Monday, but uh, that's not going to be any moisture that's going to do any significant change. By the middle of the week, though, a much larger storm system moves our way. Not only could that bring us a better chance of moisture, but finally some true fall-like temperatures making their way into the Beehive State. You can see that on the temperature outlook here. The latest outlook starting to push that big dome of red air, that heat off to the east, and we start to see those temperatures cooling down. But not only that, we could see a wetter than average precipitation trend coming our way as we get towards that time frame as well. So maybe some changes finally heading your way. Along the Wasatch Front, mid-80s with sunshine and a few scattered clouds, slight chance of a shower Sunday into Monday. Look at those temperatures, though, going from the 80s to the 70s and then there you see it Thursday the beginnings of what could be something a little more significant moving our way so we're going to be watching that for you closely hey if you're heading down to the Black Desert Resort for your Friday yeah cool to start Temperatures in the 80s by lunchtime, mid-90s by the afternoon with a few scattered clouds. But, yeah, it will stay dry for any of your golfing knees in St. George as we're looking at highs around 94 degrees, 92 Saturday, slight chance of a shower Sunday into Monday. And then look at that. Even in St. George, we may struggle to see a high around 80 degrees by the time we get towards your Thursday. So, uh, yeah, I'll tell you, Brian, Wes, I know you guys are out there having a great time. Hopefully the breeze is not too bad for the golfers, but I know it's not stopping you guys from being out there having a good one. <laughs> Yeah, that's, it feels like we're in a convection <laughs> oven right now, to be honest with you. Right? Yeah, the wind has kicked up, and that's yeah. making the score.